Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com and in this video you will learn how to create flashing bulbs effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful flashing bulbs effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see here, first we have the text shown and then on a click you have these flashing bulbs effect. It's a very easy effect to create and you can use this in your business presentations to jazz up your title slides or if you want to bring attention of the audience to a certain announcement or a certain quote, you can use this effect. Let me show you how to create this beautiful effect from scratch by going to a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to write the text that I'm going to use for flashing bulb effect. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the text box tool and I'm going to write flashing text or whatever the text that you want to choose you can write and then I'm going to choose a thicker font maybe something like uh, Allegria Sans Black would work or Arial Black would work and then I'm going to change the font color to white so it's very clearly visible and I'm going to increase the font size all the way to 96 maybe if I require I can change that to say 115 and I'm going to place this somewhere here. Now with the base text ready, it is time to add the flashing bulbs. And to add flashing bulbs, let me go to Auto Shapes menu. I am going to choose all these options under stars and banners. First, I am going to pick up the four point star. I am going to click hold the shift button down as I draw the four point star. I am going to change the color to white and I am going to remove the outline. If need be, I can click on this yellow handle here and then move it outside so I can change the nature of this four point star. And once I'm happy with the size and the nature of the four point star, then I can right click on it, go to format shape and then go to the effects option here. Go to soft edges option and choose one of the presets called five point and that will make this effect possible. As you can see here, this is slightly small. I'm going to make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to click and drag from the corner so I can increase the size of the star. We need these kind of stars in different sizes. So I'm going to make one more copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to have an even bigger version. So I've got my four point stars ready. Then let us go to Auto Shapes menu and this time pick up five point stars and then I'm going to hold the shift button as I draw the five point star. We are going to apply the same format as this one to this one as well. So I'm going to select this, go to the format painter option in the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, click on it and then click on the target object. So this is the one and you can see that all the attributes of this shape are now transferred onto this one as well. Now let us create a couple of them which are slightly smaller. The reason why we are going to create all these different variations is so we have different types of flashes available on our uh, text. So that is the whole idea. Now that we have got this done, now let us go to the next type of uh, star, maybe something like this one, which is an eight point star. Hold the shift button down as you draw the eight point star. You can click and drag from this handle so you can have sharper uh, edges here. And now with this done, we are going to apply the same formatting to this one as well. And I'm going to make some copies, have them bigger. You understand the routine now. Uh, so that is how we create a whole bunch of different stars, which are all going to flash on this text. The next step is to apply animation to these uh, objects. So I'm going to select this one first and I'm going to apply animation. Let me close this pane here and open the animations pane by going to animations tab and clicking on the animations pane option so you can see what I'm going to do here. The first thing I'm going to do is to choose the entrance effect and in this case I'm going to choose grow and turn entrance effect. Now I'm going to apply another animation to the same object so I'm going to select that go to add animation option and then this time under exit option I'm going to choose this one called as shrink and turn and that is how it vanishes. So you have two animations on the same object. Now the second one is going to be after previous. I'm going to select both the animations and I'm going to change the duration to 0 0.1 
zero so 0 0.10 seconds is the time for this entire animation to happen you can see how these animations play by clicking on play selected you can see that it comes in and then goes away as if it is a flash now with this animation done i am going to select this object go to animation painter and double click on it so i can change my cursor into this painter uh, paint option and then I'm going to click on these various objects at random. So I'm going to click on this one and then click on this one and then click on this one and this one, this one, this one and this one. I hope everything is uh, animated. Maybe this one is not animated. Now with all these pieces animated, the final step is to place them on the text in various positions. If you want a copy of one of these objects, all you need to do is to hold the control button down as you click and drag this piece to uh, a new position. As you can see here, it creates a copy of this piece and you've got it here. Now I'm going to just do this uh, arrangement in a random fashion. You understand how this whole thing is done. So you just can follow this uh, thing very quickly yep i think we have got it all done now with this done the last step is to have all these play after previous so i'm going to select this one first hold the shift button down and i select the last animation event and then i'm going to say after previous so all these are going to play one after another at 0.10 seconds duration let us see how this whole slide plays by going to the slideshow mode now on a click, the various flashing bulbs are going to glow. So let us click and you can see the effect here. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Now you can make this whole thing a lot more dramatic by adding more number of bulbs. You can have more number of uh, stars of different shapes and have this whole thing work very interestingly. I hope you liked this interesting effect. If you liked the clarity of my explanation and the creativity of the effects that I have been showcasing all the while in Presentation Process Channel, then you will really love our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. It is a structured way to master PowerPoint. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program by clicking on the No More button here. And by the way, I hope you liked the tutorial that I taught you in this video. If you did, then I have a wonderful treat for you. I have put together a beautiful mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. If you're a business presenter, like say you are a business owner, a business executive, a trainer, or a consultant, then you will find this course extremely useful. You can sign up for this mini training by clicking on the button here. You can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. So go ahead, click on the button here, sign up for the mini training and take your business presentation slides to a whole new level. I'll see you inside the mini training.